If you're a service-based business and you want to know how to create more high-quality phone calls for your business, you're in the right place because right now I'm going to be taking you through how to get the most out of your Google Ads core campaigns, including the important settings that you need to use to make sure you've got your campaigns set up correctly. Now, before we get to that screen share of where I take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to set up a call-only campaign in Google Ads the right way, I want to go through some important guidelines for when you're setting up and optimizing your core campaigns. And the first thing that you need to understand is that it is highly, highly likely that the CPC in your call only campaigns will be much higher than your general search campaigns. And sometimes it can be more than double. So if you've got an average CPC in your search campaigns of $2, that could be even four or $5 for a call only campaign. Now the reason for that is because call only campaigns are generally more competitive and because Google Ads is an auction based system, when there's more competitors, that then drives up the price. Now because of this, what you need to do when you're optimizing your core campaigns is you need to go through and check your core reports. And what you wanna be doing in your core reports is you wanna be adding in your keywords so that you can quickly remove keywords or add in extra negative keywords. And let me quickly show you what I mean by that. So when you're in Google Ads, you wanna go into Insights and Reports. And then from there, you wanna go into your Report Editor. And then in here, you'll see this Core Details Report. Now in mine, you see it in the Frequently Used Reports because I check it all the time. But if you haven't seen it yet, you need to scroll down and it's under ads and assets and you go into core details and then when you're in the core details section you want to go over here and type in the search keyword and then pull that over here and what this will actually do is you can see here you can see the duration of the call you can actually see the call is number and then what you can do from there is you can actually see the keyword which triggered that phone call now the benefit of adding in that search keyword is that it allows you to see the individual keywords which are generating higher quality phone calls. And you can do that through two metrics. You can look at the core duration with obviously a longer core duration, generally leading to a higher quality call. Or if it's your own business or depending what CRM your client's business is using, you can actually look at the phone number to see whether that phone number ended up in a qualified lead or a sale. So what you do wanna make sure, because call only ads have a higher CPC, you wanna make sure you're utilizing that core details report so you can really see which of the keywords which are generating high quality leads because you don't mind paying extra for a click as long as it's generating a high quality lead. The next thing you need to focus on is you need to make sure that you've got your location targeting set correctly for your Google Ads campaign. Now, when we get into the screen share of taking you through the step-by-step -step process, I'll go into this in further detail, but for core campaigns, I will generally only use the presence targeting, not presence and interest. And the reason for that is because I just wanna focus on people who are currently in the areas that I'm targeting, not just people who have an interest in that area. By changing it to a presence only targeting, you're much more likely to be targeting people who currently live in the areas that you are targeting, which is taking you one step further down the process of making sure you're targeting the people who actually live in those areas. The next thing, and this is number four, on what you need to note when you're setting up your core campaigns is that you need to get the structure between your campaigns right. Now, what I mean by that is that I will often run separate search and separate call only campaigns. Now, because this gets a little bit technical, let's jump into another screen share so I can show you what I mean by that. Now, what I wanna show you through here is you can see for this business, we've currently got three different search campaigns, one main search campaign and then two call only campaigns. Now for this lower call only campaign, we've only just started it because we saw some great results with this call only campaign. And what you can see is that this call only campaign, this whole business has a smaller budget and it's really targeted, but you can see through here, you know, the CPC is a lot higher. It's 479 versus cost per click of 334 in our general search campaign, but we're getting a lot more conversions. So you can see here that this cost per conversion is down at $5, this one's at 28. What the difference between these two campaigns is, is that this is a long running call only campaign. We're only running two exact match keywords that we know convert. And then we've got more of a general search campaign. And the other difference is, is that this main search campaign is targeting our desktops, whereas this call only campaign is only targeting mobiles. And for these two call only campaigns, they're only targeting three suburbs each. So it's really tight on suburbs which are performing the best. And these ones, because the cost per click's a little bit cheaper, it's a wider net. But for these call only campaigns, we're just focusing on two or three core exact match terms and two or three core suburbs. And the last thing I want you to note with your call only campaigns, and I mentioned it in that screen share, is that for my call only campaigns, I focus on only exact match keywords. Now, if you've been following any of my videos, you know 
with search campaigns. I like to set up my ad groups with two or three longer tail broad match keywords and then I build out a list of exact match keywords. But for call only campaigns, I really look at focusing on exact match. And what I'll do there is I'll generally start with a general search campaign, find the exact match keywords which are converting, and then build my call only campaign around those exact match keywords. And the reason why I do that is because as I said, you wanna really make sure that with your call only campaigns, because it's gonna cost you more, in your CPC that you're focusing on keywords that you know convert. So now that we've got all that sorted, what I wanna do is I wanna take you through a screen share where I can show you the step-by-step -step process of how to correctly set up a call-only campaign for your service-based business. Now, if you miss any of these steps, I do not want you to worry because if you follow that link in the description below, you can get access to my Google Ads call-only search campaign setup guide and it's got screenshots of all of the different steps that you need to take in order to get the correct setup for your Google Ads call only search campaign setup. So with all that said, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you the step-by-step -step process. Okay, so when you're inside of Google Ads, you wanna be going into the new campaign. And when you're in new campaign, obviously click on new campaign. Then from there, we wanna be selecting leads. Now it is important that you do select this leads option so you can get the right conversion action so we can do a call only campaign. I've got some conversion actions in here already, but we're gonna add a goal. Now, once you've gone through and selected the leads option, you can see here that I've already got the phone call leads added. If you don't have that, you can just click the add goal. And what you'll need to do from there is Google takes you through the process. You need to add in your phone number. The only thing I would say with this is that the phone number that you add, it does need to be present on your website. So it needs to be the same number that Google can see in your website that's on your ads. Now for a call only campaign, if there are any other goals that you have, I remove those. And what this does is this doesn't remove the goal from your account. It just removes it from that campaign. So we've only got our phone call leads. Then we go through through and then click continue. And then from here, we wanna select the search campaign and we wanna focus on phone calls. Now this is where you can go through and add in your phone call. Now, if you don't have this in here yet, you can go through and add in your phone number, but as you can see, we've already got our phone call in here already. So if you don't have that, you just go down to this section and that's where you add in the phone call section. And then we go through and click continue. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to have a really strong naming convention so that we know what this is about. What I would generally do here here is I would call this a call only and then type in the suburb name and then go through and click continue. Because this is a new campaign, what I would generally do is I would just start this on a maximize clicks and I wouldn't worry about adding in a target CPA. And for the custom acquisition, I leave this blank once again already because our CPC is gonna be high. Because we're gonna be having greater control around our keywords because we're only gonna be targeting on exact match keywords, this is gonna be okay in this setting. Then we go through and click next. Now, for a call only campaign, I do remove both of these, the Google search partners and the Google display network. Now, the reason why I remove the Google search partners is because on some of the other partners, it doesn't have the same display as it does on the Google ads network. And for the display network, if you're gonna run image-based ads, I would run that in a separate campaign. And then and obviously when it comes down to your location targeting, I wanna do two things here. Firstly, we wanna add in a specific location. In this example, we're gonna target Redcliffe, which is a city in Brisbane. And then what I'm gonna do in here, we're gonna change this over. So make sure with the location options, you change this to presence. So we're not doing presence or interest. Now with your audience segments, I highly recommend that you add around about 20 or 30 different audiences. If you've got some other search campaigns already active and you know your best performing audiences, I would add these straight away. So you can and add that in that section. And we're keeping it as the observation method. And the reason for that is because we're just wanting to get the data and then we can add in some different bid optimizations before we move over to a maximize conversions. We wanna keep this off. And then from there, I also with the automatically created assets, I keep this off for call only campaigns because we wanna have greater control over our ad copy. In the more ad settings, there is one that you may wanna look at is if you only want your phone call to ring at certain times. Sometimes what I'll do through here is with the ad schedule, if we only want our ads to run, say for example, between Monday and Friday from the hours of 8 a.m. through to let's say 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I'll set it that way and that just stops our ads running at midnight so your phone isn't ringing at midnight. Then go through and click next. And then it's just a matter of going through and creating our keywords and our ads. Now, what I am gonna do here, I've got some existing ads that we know work in other areas, so I'm just gonna copy them over. So with the keywords, I'm just gonna paste them in through here. I'll just add in two. You can add in more, but remember, I'm taking them from our existing research. And then with our ads. Now it's important to note that with your ads, you need to remember that your phone number will already appear in there. And then what you need to do after you've added in your headlines and your descriptions, you need to make sure with this section where it's calls, you need to go through 
through and this is where you add in the phone number that you want to be targeting and then from there go through and click next now with the budget Google will set some silly budgets what I normally want to start with let's just we're just going to put in a nominal budget of $15 a day and then what Google will do from here is it will go through and it'll run some checks to make sure everything's okay and then once that's ready you can then go through and click publish campaign now while this is publishing there is one more thing that we need to do and this is just a change in the new Google Ads system so this is our campaign through here when you're in your ad group you want to go to ads and you want to create a call only ad so you can see with the setup unfortunately Google has made it that it sets a responsive search ad so what we want to do is set up a call only ad put it in this ad group and then we just go through the process of setting up that ad now what I would also do once that ad set up is I would pause the existing responsive search ad so that when we're in our ad group you can see here that you have two different call only ads that are running in the same ad group so I know it is a little bit frustrating the way that Google has changed it so what you do need to do there as a reminder is that once you've set this up you need to come into the ad section and go through and create a new call ad and that's the step-by-step -step process for setting up a call only ads campaign in 2024 thank you for joining me my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and remember if you missed any of those steps make sure you follow that link in the description below to get access to my campaign setup guide for your call only campaigns and if you want to learn how to optimize your search campaigns in the best way I want you to go through and watch this video right here once again thanks for joining me see you next time